Hi and welcome to Waves. Let's check on some news making waves as of now. State owned Indonesian oil and gas company Pertamina is planned another LNG terminal in East Java. According to the Jakarta Post, the terminal will be a floating LNG terminal with a receiving capacity of about 500 million, million cubic feet. Pertamina's president director Karen Agastivan was quoted as saying the terminal is part of the government's program to provide gas infrastructure to anticipate higher domestic demand, especially from the electricity sector. Pertamina is also in talks with the state gas distributor PTPGN to build an LNG terminal located in West Java. Moving on, total trade throughout the port of Melbourne in Australia increased 6.6% in December 2009 compared with the corresponding month in the previous year. The cord container trade increased 4.4% overall, resulting in the port of Melbourne handling an average of over 6,200 containers a day in December, bringing the total TEU to 194,184 TEU. We are always cautious about drawing conclusions on trends from one month's trade results, but the signs are very encouraging, said the Port of Melbourne Corporation Chief Executive Officer Stephen Bradford. The positive trade figures provide an important point of comparison given to that of the impact of the global financial crisis started to have an influence on port of trade in December 2008. There were some horror stories about declining trade volumes earlier in 2009 in some international container ports, so December's trade figures consistent with November are a welcome result which we'll hope will be a sustained. Mayer Werft is one of the few specialized German shipyards which has so far been left unscathered by the global financial crisis. However, its chief executive Bernhard Mayer said that he was afraid that half of Germany's shipbuilding capacity might be lost. Mr. Mayer added that a wave of insolvencies in Germany would cause the German shipbuilding network to suffer. Mayer Werf has an order book worth of over 5.7 billion US dollars and orders are covered through to 2012. However, new orders will need to be secured this year or departments in Mayer Werf will not be fully utilized. Mr. Mayer said that he was confident that new orders would definitely materialize. That is all the news making waves in the maritime sector as of now. Do log back later on to know about more news making more waves. See you then.